I'd come to this project with many of the same assumptions that you have concerning the Jersey Devil murders and the guilt of Jim Seward. His characterization as a troubled young man responsible for a spree of horrific ritualistic homicides. What really happened that night? And is Jim Seward truly responsible? Most people, when they commit a crime, aren't being videotaped, like, you know, when they're doing it or, like, near the time when they're doing it. It was like spying in on, on this crime about to happen. No one else had the opportunity to commit those murders except for Mr. Jim Seward. I feel weird about it. Yeah, I know, me too. I, this whole idea to come out into the woods and stuff. You know, suddenly they want to jump into doing, you know, big time live, you know, from the Pine Barrens and have radio and internet and this and that. And, uh, you know, I, I knew it was going to be a fiasco. I, I, I didn't really think it was going to end up like it did, but I knew it wasn't going to look pretty. The attacker was using both hands with two weapons and was ambidextrous. Two separate instruments were driven into the victims at the same time. I think to anybody, if you found 47 pieces of a, of a human being or human beings, it would be very disturbing. The whole thing reeks of a setup. More, more went down than, than we know. Jim's an innocent man, and this was not investigated in any way, shape, or form. The one thing about this with, uh, you know, this guy Jim, uh, you know, the case they built up against him, it was all circumstantial. They didn't have any actual evidence that he did this, but, uh, I mean, he was the only one there. Also, if he's an innocent man, there's a killer on the loose. As they said on Fact or Fiction, you decide. Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. My review tonight is The Last Broadcast in 1998. Here's the storyline. Two enthusiastic local access cable TV producers recruit an assistant and venture into the forest in search of the mystical and horrifying Jersey Devil. Directed by Stephen Avalos and Lance Wheeler. Written by Stephen Avalos and Lance Wheeler. Released October 23rd, 1998. Here's the cast. Dave Beard as David Lee, the filmmaker. Jim Seward as Jim Seward, the accused. Stefan Avalos as Stephen Avkast, Fact or Fiction host. And Lance Wheeler as Locus Wheeler, Fact or Fiction host. Now this goes way back. And actually I never even heard of this film. Well, maybe I did back in the day with the controversy between them and the other film from 1999, The Blair Witch Project. So anyways, the reason why this came to my head again is due to a episode of our show, which that's me, uh, me and Gino McGahey, Horror Talk. We talk, talked about a few found footage films, and he brought this film up. And, of course, after the show, I went searching for it, and I found it, and I watched it. So there we go. That's the story on how this movie came across my desk. You know what? I can safely say this. I like this film a little better than The Blair Witch Project. This was a movie, found footage, of course, I mentioned, about two enthusiastic filmmakers... Um, had this show and it was failing miserably after a few years so you want to think of something clever well somebody gave me the idea of as of going to the barons to look for the New Jersey devil and well something happens and that's basically what a story picks up at and there's an investigation. Jim Seward was accused of... You have to watch this because, one, it's a badass found footage film. And believe it or not, from 1998, again, thank you, Gina McGahey, for bringing this to my attention. I absolutely loved this film. There are some really, really, really good 
found footage films, in my opinion, and this is one of them. I really dug this one. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's well worth a watch. The last broadcast in 1998. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give his film an 8 out of 10. I absolutely enjoyed it. An interesting storyline with a major twist at the end. I will say no more. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.